Pay cuts and job losses are looming for Singapore as COVID-19 continues to bite. The central bank is warning the downturn will hit despite government support packages. And the recession ahead is likely to be deeper than first thought. Michelle Teo explains. Official estimates had earlier forecast gross domestic product to shrink between 1 and 4 percent this year. But economists now believe COVID-19's impact could put Singapore into a deeper recession. Globally, there are a lot of the lockdowns and containment measures and travel restrictions are in place. So we are expecting that second quarter growth could contract by double digit, possibly up to 20 percent year on year. Mainly all the three engines, whether it's manufacturing, construction or services, even when circuit breaker measures are lifted, the Monetary Authority of Singapore says unemployment could rise, though pay cuts are more likely. It said jobs in travel-related or sectors like retail and food services are most vulnerable. Such jobs make up a fifth of the workforce. Economists say even with the job support scheme to ease costs, retrenchment is possible after wage subsidies decrease. We don't think businesses will resume to normal right after the uh, right after the secret measure secret record period is over it will take some time for consumers to regain confidence uh, and go back uh, to to malls go back to fmb outlets and uh, the new normal may be where uh, firms would not need that much labor or manpower anymore so we think uh, this new normal would actually uh, result in fewer workers uh, that the firm firms will want to hire MAS says the SG United Jobs Initiative is aiming to create about 10,000 jobs over the next 12 months. These will cover sectors like construction, public administration and education. Even if Singaporeans hang on to their jobs, they're not spending like they used to. Business and consumer sentiment have been worsened by recent developments like the collapse of oil prices. That's contributing to a lot of the energy-related uh, items, uh, prices coming off quite sharply. And I think... Some of these pressures, uh, you know, the soft labor market, um, recession prospects, and also the weak oil prices will all add up to basically deflationary pressure in the months ahead. We do expect that both headline and core inflation will turn uh, negative and probably stay negative for a good part of 2020. If it happens, it will be the first time since 2002. But there are some bright spots. MAS says sectors like construction could recover in the second half once public infrastructure projects resume. And there's also some pickup within manufacturing. Demand for healthcare products are rising across the world. Uh, so this would benefit Singapore's pharmaceuticals as well as medical technology class, uh, segments. Uh, we are also quite optimistic on the outlook for the IT sector. Uh, I think after this COVID-19, there will be a lot of demand for uh, digitalization and uh, IT facilities as more uh, companies are practicing work from home policies that will require a lot of demand on the tech side. Experts think firms may invest more into automation and technology, making them less reliant on labour.